God, I thank you that your Holy Spirit desires to have relationship with us, that he loves us in spite of who we are, in spite of what we have done, what we are currently doing. He still desires to know us. He desires to search out our hearts, search out our minds and cleanse us from the inside out. He desires that relationship. He desires to sit with us, to talk with us, to show us your greatness and to help us understand your love for us. The love that brought your son, Jesus Christ, down from heaven and he walked the earth. And he lived among us and he took on our sins that we may live, that we might live with him in glory, that we may have the right to the tree of life, that we may have life and life more abundantly. And God, so many things distract us. So many things get in our way. So many things the enemy have placed in front of us to destroy that relationship, to get us off kilter, to get us off of the path that you have created for our life, God. But still, your son, Jesus Christ, stands with his arms wide open, ready to receive us in. If we just humble ourselves, if we just humble our hearts, He said that he would receive us in, that he would forgive us of our sins as far as the east is from the west, that he does love us. And God, tonight, I want to lift up to you those uh, men and women that are addicted to pornography, all different types of pornography, videos, posters, internet sites, magazines, whatever they may be, God, it is pornography and they are uh, addicted to it. Uh, some And it comes in all shapes and forms, all walk of life. It doesn't matter, black, white, Hispanic, Asian. Um, it does not matter. It doesn't have a color. It doesn't have a social class, rich and poor, middle class, Many all over this land is addicted to pornography. And God, it is a sin because you are lusting after someone else. You are desiring sexual relationships with someone else. And most times these people are married. Some of them are not. And you're desiring someone else. So God, I pray for that man and that woman out there who is addicted to pornography, who have these images burned in their minds that they just can't get out, that come home at night and during the day and they go onto the computer and they log onto the sites to fill a void that can't be filled with videos and it can't be filled with posters and internet sites. So God, whatever is going on in their minds and in their hearts that cause them to desire this, I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will cleanse them, that they will yield themselves to you, that they will yield themselves to the Holy Spirit and cry out and say, God, please Cleanse me, please save me, God. Many are married and they bring home these fantasies to their wives and they see these activities on the video or on the poster and they imagine that with their spouse and sometimes their spouse feels ashamed or dirty and unclean. God, I pray for a forgiving heart that this that these couples can come together and that they can get the help that they need. There are groups, there are men, there are women out there who have dealt with this and that knows how to be delivered and how to be set free. We do not have to be bound by the addiction of pornography. We don't have to be held captive by that lust and by that desire. So God, you said that you came to set the captives free. Set your captives free from this addiction. Remove the guilt and remove the shame. 
And God, I pray for those also that the husband and the wife, they both uh, partake in this activity. They open their doors up to other couples. They have open relationships. They're swingers. Um, they're doing all different types of, of sexual activity, thinking that this will please the other or that they're fulfilling a fantasy that they once had. And God, no matter what they do or how far they push the limits, it's never enough. It never satisfies what they're longing for or what they're desiring because what they're really desiring is a relationship with you and they don't know that so they're using any and everything and this is just one addiction out of the many that they're trying to use to fill that void but that void god can only be filled with the power of the holy spirit so i pray that you would come down now in these hearts and in these minds and change patterns of thinking the pattern of thinking they think that sex is used as a tool to control someone that sex is nothing that matters it's just an activity to um fulfill a lust but god you created it as a bonding between a husband and a wife one husband and one wife not one husband and multiple women or one woman and multiple men but God, you've created it to be a sacred act between a husband and a wife, between a man and a woman. And God, I pray that by the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, that you would scrub through our church. God, pornography is in our church. The men and the women that we trust to help us to break the bondages, to help us to understand your word, to be our spiritual leaders and our spiritual guides, our pastors and elders and deacons and mothers and ministers of the church are addicted to pornography. They watch it. They go and watch videos and internet pornography. They're involved in child pornography. God, this saddens you. It breaks your heart to see your people, to see your children wrapped in sin, crippled by sin. We can't be free to love you. We can't be free to do your will when we're addicted to this world and the things that the world offers and the world tells us that it's okay, that it's healthy to watch pornography. It's healthy to lust after a person that is not your spouse. It's only right to lust after someone else. But God, your word doesn't tell us that. And your word is true. Your word never changes. From the time it was written, from the time it was thought out, your word is still the same. The earth changes Many laws has been put into place and changed, but your word, your law has never changed. So God, I pray for our pastors and our elders and the members of the church. I pray for those that are addicted to child pornography, that take advantage of little children and they film them and they pass them off to their friends and other people that they know they swap out pictures they swap out videos and they swap them out like baseball cards like they're trading cards god it breaks your heart and it breaks mine and i pray for this kingdom to tear down that that this kingdom of pornography will be torn down and destroyed that the world of child pornography will be destroyed and people that are in it will be exposed no matter how big no matter how small to the government to the ceos to the ministers to the labor men to the ditch digger to the sewer worker, to the trash pickup, to the taxi cab driver, no matter who it is, I pray that they will begin to be exposed 
so that they can come to a place of repentance so that no other child will be will be used for child pornography so that this world of pornography will be destroyed so i thank you god because you're doing it in jesus name amen true relationships are damaged because of this sin because of the way that the that one person looks at the other so god i pray that you would begin to tear down that wall tear down that stronghold of pornography and god for the men and the women who are um who are in the business who are in the adult entertainment business they're making the videos they're in the videos they own the stores they own the video stores they make the posters they're the photographer they're the camera man i pray that you would that they would be saved that their hearts and their minds would be changed and they would say my body will no longer be used as a tool my body will no longer be used for the glory of the devil but it will be used for the glory of god and god i pray that you would cleanse their cleanse their bodies for whatever reason they decided this path for the money or for a springboard to acting or just to say that we own our own business, whatever it is, God, you desire to save, you desire to forgive, you desire to have a relationship. So God, I pray for each and every one of them that is caught up in this business, that they will turn their back on the business and they will walk away because if they don't do it, the people that watch it can't watch it because there'll be nobody that's performing the acts. So, God, I pray for them all, um, the addicted and the one that's performing the acts. So, God, let your will be done. Let your glory come down. Let it fall like rain on our land, on these people that we're lifting up to you right now, God. 